as you work on the second half of the minuet, you have some rests that you have to contend with in your bass, right? You're holding on to that C because it's a half note, right? Now, it's tricky to do that pull off between four and one. You don't want to get your first string in that, right? So it is a pull off that comes up a little bit. Normally pull offs, I like to call them pull downs. You get a much more accurate pull off or pull down if you do it this way. But you're risking a lot by having that string there while you're holding this, right? You're doing the pinky to ring splits. Then at that point, you can mute your bass. And then let go of the three. Now, a trick is not to actually mute with your left hand when possible. Use your right hand for the muting. Right? Your thumb just comes in and mutes the fifth string. And then at that point, after you do that pull off, change to second position, two to one, four to two. And then you get yourself right back Notice how I'm turning my hand around to accommodate the next position, right? And I prepare myself for that shift. It's a D7 chord, right? Two and three are half stack. Half stack, again, meaning that they're not on top of each other. One is behind on the C, right? And then you have kind of like a dominant chord. Well, it's a G7. C major, and then D minor in first inversion. Then one sneaks underneath to grab the C sharp. C sharp, right? Right? You're holding F, A, D. Right? Try to make that D a little quieter because it's the last note of the measure. And then your F. Now, the trick is to not bar all of the strings. That is a lot of effort. And you really don't need all of those notes. You just need the sixth string and the first. Right? So if you actually hear this, I'm cheating on the fifth string, the fourth string. Third string is grabbed by two. Otherwise, I'd be still cheating. Right? That I do get sound on the second string. I'm trying to use this knuckle for that bar. Right? Right? Three and four are holding that. Right? And then we will move on to fifth position for the next section, right? You kind of start not in a bar. Second string, pinky to the third string on the seventh fret. Fifth fret, seventh fret. Then one is going to grab the G on the D string. And then four is going to half stack. Uh, three is going to grab the C sharp on the, on the G string, right? So that's your sixth fret. Then down here, you're going to get your first string. Half stack below three. So. And then you change to third position. Right? In this score, you have a three. You could actually just slide four very easily. Then move your bar out. And then further out. Right? It's a very smooth fingering. Again. one, open G, open B, and then F on one. And then there's an ornament. I suggest using four for the first G, pull off, and hammer with three. It's There's a very, very fun effect for Baroque music. Right? And then one and two, G sharp, and F natural. Right? And then your 
doing kind of like your F major chord. Right? So it's kind of like a D diminished chord. C major, D minor in first inversion, right? F, A, of course, or underneath that F bass. And then you have this next section, uh, kind of like a repeat of the first section. But let's actually go ahead and play through that uh, very slowly. section and then you have a reprieve of the first part to the first section and you end until you see fine. Have fun. <laughs>